Good afternoon. Welcome to Real Talk with PC. It's so good to be with you. You know, I want to talk about fear again. Our last episode, we talked about fear and surrounding yourself with those who would help you in that moment, as well as taking that to God in prayer. Today, I want to talk to you about learning to walk in fear, yet in faith. We're reminded in the Gospels, Matthew chapter 14, where the disciples were on the water and there a storm came up. And many times in our lives, we have a lot of storms that come up. But the question is not whether or not the storms will come up. But the question is, who are you walking in the storm with? And there, Peter was, and his, and his friends, they were looking at the waves and all of those things as they were coming about. And they saw what they thought was a ghost. So understand this that knowing about ghosts is just not a new thing. People thought they were ghosts way back when. But then as they heard the voice of Jesus, Peter said to Jesus, Lord, if it is you, would you bid me come? And the Bible says that Jesus said, come. And with that one word, they recognized the voice of God. And it's interesting because when we are working and walking with God, we will know his voice. The Bible says, my sheep know my voice. And when I call them, they will come. So what is the lesson that we can learn today? The lesson is that even in fear, you can still walk on the waves. Jesus bid Peter to come. And as Peter came out, everything was all good. But it's when he began to focus on the problem instead of the problem solver as when he sunk. And so fear has a tendency to cause us to doubt ourselves. It causes us to doubt the power of God. But the Bible clearly teaches us that God is able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that we can ask for or even think. So I wanna encourage you today that when you are in the midst of a storm, when you are in the midst of a problem, when fear seems to be cascading around you like hell, I want you to look up and focus on Jesus. And when he says, come, go. Even if the storm and the wind seems to be more than you can bear by focusing on the word and the one who spoke the word, your fears will be allayed and God will keep you and protect you. Would you pray with me? Lord, there are times that we find ourselves walking on waves of despair, waves of anxiety, waves of depression, waves of fear. But yet, Lord, we find in this passage of the scripture that you are walking there with us. So Lord, help us to remember that even in the midst of our storms, you are there with us. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in with Real Talk with PC. We'll see you. God bless you.